I'm Hassan Defo, Caribbean Culinary Ambassador, representing at Rumfest always, giving that sunshine food with that sunshine rum that we have in the Caribbean. What I've been doing with Rumfest is taking some of the classic cocktails. So the day was the pina colada. And what I did, I had a coconut dressing with the pineapple rum from, pine from plantation that I reduced with some pineapple juice. There's a bit of ginger, some scotch bonnet for a little spice, some garlic, a little lemon for citrus. That was reduced and then added to some coconut milk and that became our dressing. I had a lovely slaw, a tropical sunshine slaw, as we do at Bago, my new business that I'm doing in um, East Sheep. And we had that with the chicken that was marinated with a little bit of cumin, some mixed spice, a touch of green seasoning, and I also had a bit of rum in there. So you know, it's rum fest. We can actually use different rum because when you burn off the alcohol presence, you get the essence of the rum. And with a lot of these flavored rums, like the, the plantation pineapp pineapple rum that I use, or like say the coco canoe coconut rum, you get that full influence of say pineapple or coconut flavors, which are flavors that we kind of, you know, they, they, they belong to the Caribbean, they belong to the rum fest, they belong to what we're doing here. If you want something sweet, I would go around like the Coco Canoe. The plantation pineapple rum is a very, for me, it, any, any kind of rum that you want to bring that flavor into, that kind of pineapple. Pineapple says Caribbean, says tropical. So if you want to bring that, that's the kind of rums you would go for. But there's also the spice rums, which bring that element and you can add any kind of citrus fruit to that. So it, it's dependent, the, the idea is where there's rum, there's fun. And where you can bring rum into your cooking and, and showcase it, I think you're, you're in for a good time with you and your friends. <laughs>